they're dimming the lights, the show must be starting! Hmm. Uh, sorry. Paimon will try to stay quiet. <laughs> Welcome, one and all, to the Opera Epicles. I am the star of today's show, Linny. And over here is my sister, Lynette who will be working as my wonderful assistant. Please, let's give her a warm welcome. Hello, everyone. <laughs> I know she may seem to be a little sleepy right now, but that's just a sign that she's nervous. Whatever. Now, some of you may be thinking, Two vision holders who can freely manipulate elemental powers performing magic is not true magic at all. So, I would like to take a moment to assure you that elemental powers will have nothing to do with what you will witness on the stage today. Both Lynette and myself have removed our visions for the show. That way, even the gods won't be able to help us. Oh, good point. That's what makes the show real magic! Now, without further ado, let the show begin! Lynette will now exit the stage to make some preparations. I know you might miss her, but don't worry. She'll be coming right back on stage momentarily. Perhaps in an unexpected way. I'm sure she'll be stealing the spotlight soon enough. Oh, and before I forget, there's one more thing I should say. You never know what can happen in the blink of an eye. A magician's greatest skill is making things disappear or appear. The possibilities are endless. <laughs> but this isn't what you came for. These little tricks, you've seen them all before. So it's time for something truly extraordinary, don't you think? This one's a little tricky. Using this water tank, I shall make my sister vanish completely, right before your very eyes. It's actually quite simple. She'll just turn into air bubbles and float right out of the top. Oh no! I told them to check all the props carefully. With the lid on, even air can't escape. An amateur magician would be getting very nervous right around now. <laughs> Luckily, it's me on stage, so let me show you what a true virtuoso can do. <laughs> Lynette, are you still there? Don't go too far. We don't want to use up all our magic. Hi, I'm back. Could see easily through his tricks, 
and that would mean that his skills are still lacking. To appreciate magic, you should focus on the show happening on stage, rather than getting caught up in trying to see that which has been intentionally hidden. Huh, guess you're right. Claymon couldn't believe her eyes when Lynette reappeared. Amazing! Thank you. Thank you, everyone. I'm glad you enjoyed that performance. But our magical journey has only just begun. I've prepared even more astonishing surprises for everyone here. The magic of transformation and disappearance can go far beyond what you've just seen. I'm sure many of you are thinking that escaping the water tank was impressive enough, but Lynette is still my assistant after all. In which case, I have ample time to make all necessary preparations. So, for my next trick, I will require the participation of one lucky audience member. Please, if my assistants could bring out the magical boxes now... There are two boxes, and only two boxes. One is here, and one is there in the aisle among the audience. I'm sure many of our clever audience members have already guessed our next magic trick. <laughs> a swap! Our lucky audience member and I will each enter a magic box. After one minute, we will each emerge from the opposite box. Now please, everyone pay very close attention to the box you see here. Don't give me any chance to make a move. Wow! How's he gonna do this? Hey, do you think this is all magic tricks, or does Lenny have actual superpowers? The lucky audience member will be generated by this random number selector. It selects numbers entirely at random. Even I don't know who will be chosen to participate. Now then, let's begin. Oh, let me see... Oh, row 7, seat 3! Congratulations! You now have the chance to experience magic firsthand for an entire minute. Please, come forward. My assistant will take you beside the magic box. I'm sorry, it might be a little cramped inside, but no need to feel nervous. We've carefully arranged everything for you to be as comfortable as possible. You don't need to do anything, but no matter what strange things may happen, don't come out of the box. If the magic is interrupted, who knows where you might end up. You might even find yourself in the Fortress of Meripede. Oh, <laughs> okay. All right. Before I enter the magic box, there is one more thing I need to ask the audience to do. Could you all give me a countdown? Like this. 60, 59, 58. Just keep counting down. You can go a little faster or slower if you like. I won't be able to see anything in the pitch black box, so I'll be relying on your voices to know when time is up. Oh, and no tricks now. If you quickly count from 60 in just 30 seconds, then I'll be in a tough spot. Ooh! Paimon kinda wants to count faster after hearing him say that! <laughs> no, no, that won't do. I can see it in your eyes. You still can't be trusted. Let's practice together. Come on, repeat after me. 60, 59. 60, 59, 58!
That's right, perfect. Keep it going. All right, I'll see you all on the other side once you've finished counting. Fifty-four, fifty-three, fifty-two? Huh? Why aren't you counting, Nervalette? I am counting in my head. I think things are exciting enough in here as it is. Merely a consequence of my identity and personality. Do not worry about me. Just enjoy the show. Oh, all right. You looked so serious that Paimon thought you might be feeling uncomfortable or something. Forty! Thirty-nine! Thirty-eight! Mr. Linney, are you all right in there? Is everything ready? Yes, I'm fine, I'm fine. I'm just double-checking the direction of the magic. It would be a disaster if we get sent to the wrong places. For example, mid-air right above the audience. Even though he's saying that, Lenny doesn't seem nervous at all. <laughs> what was that noise? Did you hear it too? Not sure. Anyway, it doesn't seem like anyone's worried about it. Twenty-five! Twenty-four! Twenty-three! What's wrong, Mr. Linney? I can still hear you moving in there. I seem to have accidentally knocked over a decoration. I'm trying to fix it, but it's pitch black in here. I can't tell left from right. Never mind the decorations! There's no time for that. The show is what's important. No, that's unacceptable. I want my show to be perfect. Don't worry, we still have 20 seconds. Hear them counting? 19! 18! 17! Uh, it seems things aren't quite going as planned. I apologize, everyone. It feels like you're all starting to count faster, but that's alright. I know it can be tiring to do such a long countdown. Ten seconds and change is still plenty of time. Ten! Almost there now. Eight. Whew, swapping two people is harder work than you might think. Even a master magician like me can't guarantee I'll get it right the first time. <laughs> hey, wait. Is this the back one? I can't tell. They both look the same inside. Huh? Nope, that's not it. I'll try again. Hey, slow down! Six, Honestly! Five! Four! Three! Uh, whoops! Two, that doesn't count! One, zero! <laughs> Ta da! <laughs> 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 